Okay, everyone, let's take a look at Chapter 11, Transformers. Transformers are used to increase the voltage to a high level for transmission across the country and then decrease it to a low level for use by electrical loads. A transformer has a primary winding and a secondary winding around an iron core. In a transformer, magnetic lines of force created by one coil induce a voltage in a second coil. Voltage and current change from the primary to secondary winding in a step-up and step-down transformer. Transformer connections. Overhead service or service lateral may be used to supply power to a residential building. Three-phase transformers may be connected in a Y or Delta configuration. Taps allow different output voltages to be obtained from a transformer. A center tap transformer is used to change the high voltage of power company distribution lines to the common 240-120 supply of residences and businesses. The most common control transformers have two primary coils and one secondary coil. To obtain a control voltage of 120 volts from a line voltage of 240 volts, the two primary coils must be connected in parallel. To obtain a control voltage of 120 volts from a line voltage of 480 volts, the two primary coils must be connected in series. This will be transformer selection. Transformer specification sheets are used to obtain required information when selecting the proper transformer for an application. Transformer troubleshooting. Transformers are tested by checking for open circuits in the coils, short circuits between the primary and secondary coils, and coil shortage to the core. A control transformer should be checked when there is a problem in a control circuit that may be related to the power supply. Alright everyone, that was it for that session. Next to be contactors and magnetic motor starters, and I'll see you over there.